वेलकम बैक एवरीबडी दिस इज़ दी सेकेंड लेक्चर फॉर दी सीरीज ऑफ पाइथन फॉर ऑल एंड गैस एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट प्रिंट एंड टाइप फंक्शन एंड डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ डेटा सेट्स विच आर प्रेजेंट देयर इन टू डेज वीडियो विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट सिंपल मैथमेटिकल ऑपरेशंस दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी ईजी स्वीट एंड शॉर्ट एंड स्वीट वीडियो सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द वीडियो so uh, what are the mathematical operations we do in our daily life uh, we do addition we do subtraction uh, we go for multiplication uh, we go for uh, exponential like 2 raised to the power 3 or 2 raised to the power 6 like that so let us start with the addition addition is very simple uh, let's say we want to print uh, we want to print the value of uh, 7 plus 5 so what we can do is print 7 plus 5 it will give us the result as 12 simple what we can go for is print we can also go for um, addition of complex numbers let's say 3 plus 5j plus let's i want to put another value as in let's say 2 minus 6j so it will give me the value of uh, whatever this equation is so my answer comes up to be 5 minus ij 1j sorry so addition is pretty simple here Uh, let's talk of uh, subtraction now uh, let's say i want to subtract a 9 minus 8 what should my answer it should show me answer as a 1 now i want to calculate uh, similarly let's say i want to instead of adding these two complex numbers now i'm adding the now i'm subtract uh, subtracting these two complex numbers so it will give me result as 5 minus sorry i haven't changed the value of plus to minus so it's very simple uh, whatever we do in daily life it's uh, pretty much same uh, we use plus for addition and we use minus for subtraction now let's talk of uh, division division in python is mainly divided into two categories the first one is the float division the second one is integer division uh float division uh, by the name as you can understand float it means give us the float value uh, what it means is let's say i want to calculate the value of 5 divided by 2 we know it should give me a 2.5 value right so it is giving me a 2.5 but how integer division is different is let's say i want to calculate 5 divided by 2 now for integer division what i'll use i'll use the double uh, forward slash so this double forward slash here means that i am trying to go for integer division so this value will not give me 2.5 it will give me 2 instead so what it is doing is whatever the number is let's say a point b is my any number so it will eliminate any decimal value of b it will deci uh, it will eliminate b and it will only give me result as a a so for example let's say uh, i go for another division let's say 7 divided by 3 sorry 7 divided by 3 it will give me whatever the result in decimal values 2.33 and all right but if i go for same thing but this time i'll go for integer division it will eliminate all the decimal value so it means my answer again should be 2 i hope you are clear what i'm trying to understand here is now let's talk about multiplication uh, multiplication is very simple we use the star function here so if i want to if i want to multiple multiply two values let's say 6 into 2 it will give me a result of 12 correct now talking of exponents so x for exponents uh, we use a double star that is two two star values uh, so if i want to see let's say i want to go for 2 raised to power 4 so what i can do is print 2 for the double star function for raised to the power and what is the power 4 so it should give me a value of 16 all right similarly if i want to go for uh, let's say 9 raised to power 2 that is it should give me an answer of 81 correct it's simple now uh, uh, so one more thing uh, let's say i want to calculate the square root of 2 there are uh, at higher level in there are some things something called a square root function in python but instead of that we can also go for simple 
um, simple method such as what I can do is I can simply raise the power of 0.5 to the 2 so 2 raised to the power 0.5 is also a square root of 2 right so it will give me a value of uh, 1.414 something like that correct one thing I want to uh, introduce here is um, we can also use round function let's say um, this is the value of uh, this is the whole is my value of a uh, root 2 but I only want the answer to some extent let's say I want this answer for a uh, to the value of three decimals so what I can go for, what I can do is round function, I can use round parenthesis. Now we give two values here. Okay. First one before the comma, second one after one after the comma. So before the comma, the first input in the round function is whatever we want to, uh, whatever we want to calculate. So in this case, I want to calculate 2 raised to power 0 0.5. And in second value here, what you write is the number of uh, decimals you want to get results to so here let's say i want to get decimals up to three values so it will eliminate all the values after the three decimals so i'll i'll get answer 1.414 right here let's take another example we all know 22 by 7 right a value of pi it is coming okay it is still showing uh, less numbers of decimals if i want to get only with the two decimals what i can do is round 22 by 7 after comma i just want to input so let's say i want to go two decimal points so 3.14 it will give me a value of 3.14 simple pretty simple now this is a new thing uh, modulo uh, we use to uh, whenever we want to calculate uh, the remainder of any equation we use the modulo function a uh, modulo we can use by using the value of percentage so let's say I want to calculate the reminder if we divide 22 by 8 sorry it will give me a division if I want to calculate the remainder so I'll use the percentage sign here correct now for example what is the value of uh, let's let's go for the table of 8 so 8 16 24 so 22 is here so 16 22 minus 16 6 is the reminder so answer is correct let's say i want to go for remainder of 5 divided by 5 let's say in this case remainder will be 0 correct right so uh, these are some basic mathematical operations which we can do in uh, python uh, these will surely come handy as we go ahead uh, ahead in this course so uh, this is uh, it for this video and in the next video uh, we'll be learning uh, something learning something new that is known as escape sequences in python so stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.